The first thing we do when we start any mechanical model is we have to bring in an architectural underlay. What I'd like to do in this video is link a structural model and an architectural model. So to get started, let's jump into Revit. Under Projects, let's go New. And I'm going to grab Mechanical Template, and I'm going to click OK. Now, there's two ways to do this. One way is to go to Insert, and we can go to Link Revit. Another way to do it is in the Project Browser, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom to Revit Links, we can right-click on Revit Links, and we can go New Link. So either way you want to do it, I'm going to come down here, right-click on Revit Links, and go New Link. I'm going to browse where I'm keeping my files, and I'm going to grab my architectural model. Now, notice there's not as many choices for when we brought in our CAD. The files of type will be a Revit file. We have no choice. For the positioning, generally, you'll always want to go origin to origin. However, if you're using shared coordinates, you have to know what those coordinates are, and you can go by shared coordinates or project base point. And of course, you can put it in manual. And generally, you're going to go origin to origin. Now, let's click open. Notice I didn't really care what view I was in. As long as it's not a drafting view or anything other than a floor plan or a 3D view, you'll be good. Now, a couple things I like to do. The first thing I want to do is I want to select our link. And I want to make sure I click on the pin button right here. This makes it so other people can't move it. But a couple things happen when you hit pin. Notice down here, we have some choices. We can uncheck select links. So if I come over here, I can just hover over this link and I can select it. If you uncheck select links, notice that you can't select that link. If you uncheck this, now if you click on select pinned elements, notice I can't select it again. If you ever have a Revit model linked into your model and you can't select it, it's gonna be one of these items are turned off. So I'm gonna click on select pinned elements. Now I can select it. What I'd like to do is select our link. Now, under Edit Type, what I'd like to do is click on Edit Type right here. Let's make sure under Constraints that we turn Room Bounding on. Now, for our Reference Type, we have one of two choices similar to AutoCAD. We can have an Overlay or an Attachment. An Overlay means that if we link this model into another model, we won't see any links that happen to be in this. If we do it as an Attachment, and someone links our mechanical model into their model, they're going to see this architectural model as well. Generally, the rule of thumb, like AutoCAD, is to leave it for overlay. Now, I'm going to look at phase mapping because this is important. If we go to phase mapping and click on edit, luckily, we have two brand new models from scratch. But what we're going to have is phases that are in our model and phases from our linked model. So if the architect has a bunch of phases, we have to recognize that and link them with a phase over here. So I have existing a new construction. If I go to phase from link, I can click the drop down and I can choose the phase that I want to link our phase with. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. Now I'm going to click OK. Another thing I'd like to look at on links is how it shows up. If we go to Manage, and if we come over to Additional Settings and we click our flyout, Let's go down to Halftone Underlay. Now we can change how that appears. This can change from firm to firm, depending on how your plotter is output. But my weight, I generally like to go with a weight of one. For my pattern, I want to keep it at no override. I'll apply a half tone, but I usually bump it up to about 80%. Now I'm going to hit OK. Notice that our underlay is going to be darker. Any underlay that we bring into our model will be dark now. Now let's go to a 3D view. Let's go up to our Quick Access Toolbar and click on Default 3D View. Now let's go to Insert. Let's go to Link Revit. Let's grab our Structural Model. I want to go Auto Origin to Origin, and I'm going to click Open. Now it says the following nested links will not appear because their reference type is set to Overlay in the link. So that means, for example, that the structural model had our architectural model linked into it, and you're going to get a nested links dialog. You want this. Click close. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now what happens is we have a link over the top of a link. So if we zoom in really close, we can select our structural link, and we can make sure that we pin it. Go to edit type. 
Make sure room bounding's turned on. It means that we can add spaces and they will bind to the rooms that are in the architectural model. Click apply, click okay. Hit escape a few times. Now we can zoom out. Now what I'd like to do is go to our visibility graphics. If you type VG or click edit over here for visibility graphics, notice that we have Revit links. So I wanna come down here to Revit links. And if we expand each of these, what's gonna happen is this. Like a normal family, we have the name of a family, then we have the type of family that we have. So for example, I could copy these links around in my model and we'd have architectural one, two, three, four, and each of those are gonna have their own properties. So remember, if you get more than one for each model, you can either delete that or you have to find out what happened. Someone might have copied a model. I've seen it happen a lot. Now, what I want to show is if we go to display settings and if we go by host view and if we click custom, now if we go to say model categories and again, instead of a host view, we go custom, Notice that we can turn on or off any kind of items we want only in the linked model, only in this view, and it won't affect our main model. So keep that in mind when you have links in. I'm just gonna hit okay here. I'm gonna hit apply here. I'm gonna hit okay. And one more thing you can do with a link that I never really like to do, but you can do it, is you can bind it to your model. So if I come over to my architectural link, and if I select it, I can go bind link, but before I do that, I want to go to manage links. So let's click on manage links. Notice that we have architectural and structural both loaded. They're both overlays, and here's the path that we have. The path is relative, but if you send these models to someone else, they probably will become unlinked. We can reload from, we can unload, we can add another one, or my favorite when I'm in this dialog is I can go to remove. And remember when we linked the CAD model? If we go to CAD formats, and if it's linked, that will show up here. Now, generally, if you link a CAD model, you only want to link a floor plan or that type of item. Don't link details. I'm going to go back to Revit. I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to select my link. And I'm going to click on Bind Link. I can include attached details, levels, or grids, generally, I include none of this stuff. I can click OK. It's a huge link, so I'm just going to click No here, but you can click Yes just to see the results.